Welcome to today's video. Three things I don't like about my Cozy 6 heat pump. Don't let the title fool you, I haven't fallen out of love with it. It does a great job at heating the home effectively, efficiently and very cost effectively. But nothing's perfect, so I just wanted to go over three things I think could be better. Firstly, weather compensation. The Cozy controls give a choice between fixed and a weather compensated flow temperature. Weather compensation curves are an important part of achieving the maximum efficiency and lowering running costs. It works by modulating the flow temperature based on the outside temperature. This gives the necessary heat output during the coldest times, but maintains efficiency by not overworking the system during the milder periods. In most situations, the weather compensation option will give better comfort and efficiency. So far so good, but my issue is the way it's presented, it's not the most informative. Users have what's called the hot weather flow temperature and the cold weather flow temperature, sliders for each of these that they can set. But what constitutes as hot weather and what constitutes as cold weather? Ask any two people's opinions of what cold weather is or what hot weather is, you'll likely get two different responses. I find these terms quite vague. Fellow YouTuber What's Up With Steve did some digging around in the engineering settings, looking at the default settings on his newly fitted Cozy 9. He found the hot weather definition point to be 12 degrees, and minus 10 for the cold weather. That's much less than I would have expected on both of those. Is it the same on my Cozy 6? I honestly don't know. I do know that the default temperature values do subtly diff uh, differ between the Cozy 6 and the Cozy 9 models. Uh, whether those definition points do or not, um, I'd, I'd love to, to know uh, if anyone has any information on that. Um, yeah, please please get in touch and, and write on the comments. Uh, I'd, I'd love to know. Um, but the next question is, what happens to all the points in between? To answer that, I will refer to a video Octopus made themselves called Your Heat Pump Isn't That Hot, Heat Pumps with TJ. And TJ is one of their lead project engineers. In that video, they show a typical weather compensation graph. It shows a linear interpolation graph with uh, th those two definition points I spoke about earlier, the high temperature and the low temperature one, and a straight line um, between the two of them. Uh, that, interestingly, shows higher temperatures. It shows a low of minus five, and it shows a high of around about 20, if I'm reading that correctly. Um, and this just goes to prove uh, there's a lot of ambiguity uh, about what these numbers that we're able to tweak actually do behind the scenes. Um, obviously the premise uh, is, is quite uh, easy to understand, but um, the actual points uh, which you're, you're tweaking these, it's, uh, it's not, the, not the clearest. Um, so, so what I would do, um, I, would, I would love to see uh, uh, the graph uh, in, on the app there um, in, in visual form. I think that would be a really good addition. Um, I would also like the uh, the hot and cold definition points to be definable, or at least uh, noted, uh, so you can see uh, what the numbers you're tweaking uh, equate to. The second gripe I have is inaccurate hot water temperature. So the hot water temperature in the app reads something far lower than expected after a little bit of water has been used. So I've seen that values uh, in the 20s. Um, I've seen values in the, in the teens, I've seen as low as 14 degrees before um, when I haven't actually run out of, of hot water. Um, I understand this is because the thermostat is near the bottom, so in my case it's around about a third of the way up the cylinder. Um, naturally the, the hot water tends to rise to the top um, and, and the colder water uh, is towards the bottom, so uh, it makes sense that if the thermostat is near the bottom, um, it will be reading a, uh, a much cooler temperature as you begin to use some of this water. Um, but uh, you can have over half a tank still, and it will show you a very low number, which is deceptive. It starts to make you panic that you're uh, about to run out when uh, that's not necessarily the case. So I wonder if instead it makes sense to display the quantity or proportion of hot water remaining, if there's a way it can calculate that. Uh, what are your thoughts and uh, what do other heat pump brands display for this? Um, maybe the solution is to simply move up the thermostat, but I assume it's down there near the bottom. 
um, to ensure that the whole cylinder uh, is heated and that it's not only heating uh, the top proportion. The third thing which could be better is the outside temperature readings. It's about right most of the time and this is only a concern on particularly sunny days. Um, but I have it in a south facing location and I find that it, the temperature can jump up a little bit too much in direct sunlight. So the worst example I have here is it shows uh, a temperature of around about 27 degrees on a day which actually peaked at 21. This is due to the Cozy having an inbuilt thermostat, not a separate one uh, that's located elsewhere from the unit. So other brands, uh, they sometimes have external outside uh, weather thermostats uh, and the advantage to that is they can be placed wherever um, is appropriate uh, with large amounts of freedom to avoid this exact issue. Um, the worst case scenario of this is uh, the graph data looks a little bit off on sunny days and it may end up reducing the flow temperature on sunny days. It's not that bad considering the sun will also be warming the property so I guess that in a way is an extra layer of uh, unintended uh, weather compensation. If none of that has put you off at all and you are interested in getting a Cozy or indeed a Dakin model, um, you can use this referral code here. It's very long so I'll put it in the description. Um, you don't need to be an existing Octopus Energy customer um, and uh, it will give you £100 off. It will also uh, award me £100 real credit so that would be greatly appreciated. So before I go, I wanted to cover off a few areas that other people have criticised the uh, uh, the cosy heat pumps for um, and it, it, these things just don't bother me in the slightest actually uh, first off the appearance um, it has been said that it looks like a uh, McDonald's car park bin I, I don't dispute that uh, I understand the uh, appearance is quite divisive but uh, I actually quite like it uh, I had a couple of uh, contractors uh, they, they mentioned that uh, it looked more stylish than some of the rectangular boxes that uh, they've seen in other properties um, another thing that has bothered people is um, that you have no physical uh, thermostat within the house that um, where you can simply just uh, press that and uh, uh, change the temperature and, and set things up uh, it's kind of all online and done through the app um, my response to that is probably why would you need to tweak it so regularly you've got a boost function which you can do from either um, the, the, the cozy um, pods or or the app so um, that, that seems to serve the purpose I really needed to press that once in about two months um, and uh, yeah obviously the internet going down is always uh, an unfortunate thing it's, it's always causing a lot of hassle but um, I would say that with the heat pump I pretty much just um, set it and you know it's not something I need to endlessly tweak um, that, that's my experience anyway um, and uh, another thing uh, other people have um, criticized this uh, this cozy uh, heat pump for is um, feeding octopus with uh, with with big data um, but uh, I don't personally see what's wrong with helping them understand uh, heating habits um, if they can use that to improve these products and other products going forward um, I, I don't have an issue with it what do you think about the points raised in this video do you or would you think any of these would really bother you do you have another brand of heat pump that do things differently I'm always interested to hear your thoughts in the comments so let me know so I hope that's been informative and not as negative as the title would suggest. Uh, just a few areas worth calling out. Uh, some of these things might be able to be improved with uh, software tweaks and updates to the app and things like that. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but thank you very much for watching today. Uh, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you're interested in more of this kind of content. Cheers. Bye bye.